This is a time of war. The Sengoku Jidai. Great lords battle for the soul of Japan. You must learn the arts of the warrior if you are to thrive. For now, you command Chosokabe Motochika's fiercest warriors. You must defeat the odious rebels. We will start with the units in your army. Select the Yari Ashigaru by left clicking on them, or Yari Ashigaru are useful in any army. They carry spears, Yari, and protect variable units in battle such as archers and other missile units. They also defend well against cavalry. Click on the tick button to continue. There is a Chosokabe village further down the hillside. Select your Yari Ashigaru and move there by right-clicking on the terrain. If you want to stop a unit carrying out its orders, click on the HALT button. Excellent. You cancelled your unit's orders. Now, order the Yari Ashigaru towards the village again by right-clicking on the ground. The village has been overrun, and the attackers may still be nearby. Move the camera back to the Yari Ashigaru with the W, A, S, and D keys, or double left click on the unit card. The camera can be moved up or down with the Z and X keys, or with your mouse roller button. Rotate the camera with Q and E. When you're ready, click on the new advice button. A unit of katana cavalry are coming to attack your position. Turn and face them by selecting your Yari Ashigaru then either clicking on the rotation arrows or by holding down the right mouse button and dragging the unit out to improve your chances of withstanding the lethal charge of the katana cavalry. Select the spear wall ability button. Your unit will adopt a special formation to inflict maximum casualties on the enemy. All battlefield units have their own abilities, so be sure to take advantage of them in battle. As a unit takes casualties, their morale will start to drop, indicated by the color banner above them. Over time, this banner will change in color from green to red. Once red, units are highly likely to rout and must be reinforced by more confident troops to prevent them fleeing the battlefield. Excellent. You have beaten the Katana Cavalry and taken few casualties. Click the spear formation button again to turn it off. Use this tactic again when your spearmen face cavalry charges. To help you defeat the enemy, the radar map shows you the terrain and each army's troops. Your soldiers are yellow, your allies blue, and the enemy red. Your selected units are white. Be sure to watch out for enemy moves and tricks. The balance of power bar is above the radar map. It shows who is winning the battle. As units are destroyed or run away, the red and yellow displays change. With the enemy cavalry defeated, 
the red side is slightly smaller. Defeat all the rebels and all the bar will turn yellow. Now that the rebel cavalry are gone, some samurai archers have come out of hiding. Some units, like these archers, can hide in cover and then make surprise attacks. Move your Yari Ashigaru up behind your new archers. They will be useful in defeating the rebels. Once you have ordered a unit to move, you can make it run or walk by pressing the R key. You can also click on the move. All units are fresh when battle starts, but they will tire as they fight or move around the field. Running will tire a unit more than walking. It's important to keep units fresh. Being tired makes units fight poorly. Keep your Yari Ashigaru near your archers to protect them and improve morale. Your position on the hill gives your men an advantage. Charging downhill will improve their attack. It can give an edge over highly trained enemies. Left click on your archers or their unit card to select them. Archers allow you to inflict casualties from a distance. Archers should skirmish to keep their losses low, so click on the highlighted button. Skirmishing means that the archers will retreat. When selected, all missile troops, including archers, have a firing arc shown to their front. Enemy units in this arc are targets as long as your warriors have ammunition. Now, watch as the enemy samurai advance on your archers. Your samurai archers can use different kinds of arrows. Select the fire arrow button to launch a devastating flaming attack. are hurt. You do not have much ammunition, so finish them with the Yari Ashigan. Select them now, and double right click on the enemy samurai to charge. Let the enemy flee. Now, select both your units by holding down the left mouse button and dragging a box around them. Now, order your units to move down towards the remaining enemy.
You now have some heavy cavalry. They are powerful, armored, highly skilled and suited to hit and run fights. They can break the enemy's morale and cause heavy casualties by bursting through their lines. Select your heavy cavalry. Order them to attack the enemy archers. They are close, so charge the archers by double right clicking. This will minimize your losses and inflict maximum casualties on impact. Before your cavalry reach the archers, click on the unit ability button and put them in wedge formation. This allows cavalry to cut through the enemy's ranks and damages their morale. See, the rebels run for their lives. Finish off any stragglers. If they manage to escape, Routing units can sometimes regroup or reform as an army on their campaign map. Why leave a threat? Most satisfactory, the rebels are defeated. A good start to the conquest of Shikoku.